In 1961, the Cricket in Times Square won a Newbery honor. 50 years later, is it still a book worth reading? You'll find out. The Cricket in Times Square doesn't have a clear main character. Some of the events that move its plot along are a little convenient, and its portrayal of minorities isn't exactly PC. All of which is to say that if you can remember that this week's pick comes from a more innocent time, and maybe a more naive one too, you'll be able to overlook some of the book's flaws and enjoy it for what it is, a story of friendship, industry, and charming animal antics in the heart of New York City. Chester is only a country cricket until the day when a trip into a picnic basket lands him in the Times Square subway station. There he meets Tucker Mouse and Harry Cat and the Bellini family, the hardworking owners of a newsstand that's fallen on tough times. As in all good animal-human stories, Chester and his friends conspire to help the Bellinis in the most ingenious of ways. I'll leave you to find out how for yourself, since this imaginative, old-fashioned tale is perfect for the slow, lazy days of summer's end.